You know what you've taken from me. Yet you keep pushing and pushing for more until I end up like, I, I can't. I will not let you steal my hope like you did to Paige and the others. If you want me to die, you will have to do it yourself. We were all so naive when this all started. We arrived at this old dusty motel, not expecting it to be the usual experience because the whole place was rented out for our experiment. Everyone dropped their bags at the bar. That bar. It gives me shivers thinking about it now. Peter being the lovable oaf that he is, accidentally hitting me with his bags. And Paige. Oh, Paige. She was my protector. She let Peter have it, though, telling him to be more careful and to apologize to me. All seven of us quickly became close. But that's exactly what you wanted, wasn't it? My first red flag should have been when I walked into my room, closed the door, sat down on my bed, and started to inspect my fancy new leather book with my name emblazoned on the cover. That's when Paige burst into my room. I will never forget her words. You have been up here for hours. You should join us all on the bar. I thought to myself, hours? I just sat down. But that's what you do, isn't it? Time doesn't mean anything in here. For all I know, decades have passed, or no time at all. 